Hello farmers, welcome back to No Man's Land, driving down the T6, we got the Coon mower on the back, we are selling that today, and look at that, we got cars showing up at the supermarket, so, the products we're bringing down are being sold, I would think, who knows, sure, why not, anyways, we're selling our Coon mower today because the store is going to let us demo a mowing set that I would like to buy, um, they're going to let me demo it because I'm, I'm pretty sure the T6 can handle it, but I'm not quite sure, so we're gonna find out. They're gonna let us demo it. If it works, well, we'll go ahead and buy it, possibly next year, uh, but not this year. So I'm gonna sell the coon mower just because, yeah, it's, it's just taking way too much time to mow that field with this mower that we have. And I would like to upgrade some of our equipment and probably starting off with that would be good because we're up two grass fields here in a little while. Uh, hoses, PTO shaft, drop that off. Let's jump in the T6, drive forward a little bit. I do have the front end loader on the T6 as well because we are going to try something that just came out in the mod up today. And can I come in here and sell directly? No, I'm at the wrong place. Sorry, Sally. Uh, I got to come over here and sell. I don't really bring stuff down to the store and sell. I did repair it at the shop for 18 bucks. Um, so we should be able to go ahead and just sell. Uh, how much am I going to get for this? Does it say? Uh, uh, 4,926 I should get. All right, so that's not... I'll take that. I mean, I don't... What did I pay for that? What did I pay for that mower? Uh, 9500 So, about half. Which is not too bad for the amount of times I used it. Um, but we're down here with the front end loader on the T6 because we are going to buy... And Roger made a comment on Monday's video, because it's Monday as I'm recording this. This just came out in the Giants Mud Hub today. And we're giving it a whirl. We got to come on down to the front loader, front loader tools, and of course, there's a scroll all the way to the end. Uh, this is the Hauer Beat Basket and Stone Picker. Yeah, um, it's only twelve hundred, and it picks up rocks, potatoes, and I, I always want to say carrots when I say that, but it sure beat. Um, I could lease it, honestly. Um, I mean, leasing is very cheap. It's only sixty-one dollars. Maybe I'll lease it. I may or may not like this. Uh, it does come in two different colors, uh, but it's it's orange metal and and uh, orange uh, Alt Altice metal. It's orange and orange. I I really don't see. There's much difference there. Uh, so you know, let's go ahead and just lease it. It's only sixty one dollars to lease it. And we'll see if it works out well the way we want it to. If it does, then maybe I'll go ahead and buy it. I'm not too sure if we will or won't. Um, how big is it? So it's not it's not that wide either. So that's a little bit of a downfall. But since workers don't know how to stop when the stones are full in the stone pickers, you know, then what, what's the whole point? Now let's go ahead and pick that up. As for the mowers, I won't be getting to that this episode. Uh, September is going to be probably a two episode kind of a thing. We got to go ahead and take care of our three cereal crop fields for the chickens. So we're going to be picking up the stones first. And then of course, we'll go ahead and replant. I said I was going to replant wheat. So we'll go ahead and replant wheat in those three fields. And we'll be using the 1000 Fent Vario for that. And then we got to sell our tomatoes. I got a whole bunch of tomatoes to sell. The price is not great. But, you know, we got a lot of tomatoes. Let's go ahead and sell it and bring in some cash. Um, the other thing I need to do in this in-game day, you know, probably, like I said, it, uh, the grass field will be next episode. I need to fertilize the grass field before we mow it. Then mow the grass field and then put all the grass into the silo bunker, which I still have to empty out. And then after I get done mowing the grass, since we will have either bought or leased the fertilizer spreader, I will fertilize the grass field again. That way it's got old stage of fertilization onto it, and uh, we should be good to go. Now, the cotton is looking pretty good. The cotton has hit the, the last growth stage before it gets ready to turn for harvest. So I'm getting excited for that. Uh, what I'm really excited for is when we sell the clothes next year. That's, that's going to be the telling thing. Was it worth it? And then, uh, of course, once we sell the clothes, it'll be kind of fun to start building up the, the cow barn area. Not only we got to put the cow barn down, but I kind of forgot we got to put down a manure pit, a slurry pit, all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, hopefully the cotton pays off for us here in the near future. 
But today is focusing on the three fields that we harvested last episode of the sorghum. Uh, the sheep are doing fine, the chicken doing fine, checking that. All the production buildings are doing what they should be doing. So I shouldn't have to focus, in, focus on anything on that. I just got to remind myself every time I cut the grass though, I got to make sure I go top off the sheep. Um, because we're getting more and more sheep now, so they're going to require more and more grass. And really in three more months, so uh, when December comes, we will probably have another eight sheep on the farm. So they're going to they're gonna chew through the grass a little bit faster. All right, so apparently, now I did try this, if you might be wondering, we do have the bucket, the other standard bucket over there. There's, I think it's a stole bucket that we bought, right? Uh, it would be, no, it's the all but, all but, yeah, I forgot, the all but bucket. Um, that one does, you can put stone into it. I was like, well, what, I already got the bucket. Why don't I just bring that? Can I pick that right up out of the field? So I tried it. No, you cannot. So it's kind of interesting. The other bucket, if I come over in this field, it will not pick up the stone. But apparently, this one will. Let's see here. Uh, am I not low enough? All right. Do I actually have to... Oh, it's a... It's a okay, I actually have to turn it on. That is kind of weird. Um, how, how close to the ground does it have to be? We are picking up stone. How close to the ground does it have to be? Uh, so I don't want too much into the ground. Oh, it's got good sound animation as well. You can hear it like clanging around. Oh, and look at this. There is no working speed. And the one thing I'm also noticing as I'm picking up the stone, it's actually also cultivating the field as well which is kind of interesting that it's doing that uh, it's fine if it does or doesn't because our drill is a direct drill so our field does not need to be cultivated beforehand so instead of buying the stone picker that i wanted which was 50 grand ooh, okay so i went right over those stones must be i'm a little bit too high off the ground why didn't i pick up those stones Okay, maybe I was going too fast. Let's turn off the helper HUD here. Now that we know what's kind of going on here. Uh, the working area is kind of interesting. So, I mean, I can kind of be on the side of it here and there. By having no working speed, that is kind of a... That, that, that's kind of a kind of a thing. I kind of, I kind of like it, but then again, part of me is like, yeah, but this doesn't, doesn't seem too real. Uh, I think the capacity of this is 1,200 liters, so the stone picker I was using before, I think that could hold 2,000. I will say, though, listening to those stones go in the bucket, that does, uh, it's like, fingers, like fingernails on a chalkboard in a way to me, because it just sounds like I'm damaging the crap out of something. Now, the one thing I'm interested in, because a couple of you guys have made comments before about our stone crusher. Now, a, peep, a few of you have commented before. This is going back way back on Elm Creek when I saw some comments where people say, you actually get more money for stones. Now, this is when you're selling stones. You get more money for stones if you deposit it in the top of the stone crusher rather than dumping on the side. And like a half dozen years half dozen of you said yep that's correct you do it, it happens there so some of you have said what happens if i dump the stones in top of the stone crusher do i get more product out of it um you shouldn't because all the stone crusher does is it takes one liter of stone and turns it to one liter of lime now the one thing it might do but i don't think it's going to uh no, it shouldn't because I'm putting I'm putting liters of stone in, so I can't increase the amount of liters I'm putting in. I have no idea, but we're going to go ahead and dump it in the top just to see what it does. I may save the game before I do that because, say, if it doesn't register on this mod, then I got stones underneath the stone crusher. Well, 
Well, I'm thinking already this is something that uh, instead of leasing from now on, but it didn't hurt. 61 bucks to lease it to try it on out. But I can definitely see this is a lot faster. Even though the working width isn't as wide, but I mean, if you can go, <laughs> there's no speed limit onto it. Yeah, this will work out rather good. So it's going to be leased for today. And when I get done, I'll have to return it. And then, uh, how much was it? It was only like 1200 bucks, I think. Yeah, 1200 bucks compared to, and I think that stone picker that I wanted is like 50 some odd thousand. Yeah, 52,000. Let me go around here and pick up some, some more stones. All right, so finally got a full bucket. I wonder if the T6 can handle this. Uh, okay, so weight in the back when I'm doing this might be a good idea because it's lifting up the rear wheels just a tad. Okay, so let me go in here and... Oh, it's saving the game anyways, but let's make sure it does. Uh, save game. Oh, wait, we're, I got some tree stumps around here. Yep, almost went right over it. Okay, we're kind of balancing on the front tires. All right, so 1,200 liters. Now, if I go into here, it's probably going to say 1,200 liters. I don't expect it to say anything different. Yep, 1,200 liters. So, it's just going to take the amount of liters and convert it one liter per one liter. So, I mean, if I were selling it straight up, I would definitely get more money uh, than dumping it on the side. But anyways, this is a good little handy tool to have. I do believe this is available on all platforms, by the way, as well. So it's not just a PC thing or anything like that. So again, special thanks to Roger for pointing this out to me. Um, oh wait, I gotta turn it back on. Yeah, so yeah, don't forget to turn it on. It's, <laughs> I've done that twice already. Uh, yeah, so definitely a lot faster than using a stone picker. Unless you got a modded one yourself that, that goes at fast speeds. Um, I may want to get a wait for this T6 at some point, and if I'm going to do this constantly, I say constantly, uh, once a year I'll be doing it. But now, I won't have to lease one or spend a lot more money on the stone picker. And this works out rather great. So I'm going to go around, I got this field to finish off, and of course then I got the other two to uh, do as well. We'll get all the stones into the stone crusher. I'm not going to turn it on today because there's no need to. But I'll see you in a little while. Well, this is working out great. I'm not sure if it's going to be my favorite tool on the farm in the, fu <laughs> in the near future, but it's pretty darn close. I went ahead because I was having this a little bit of a small issue with all the stones in the front of the bucket, 1,200 liters worth. I thought about going down to the store and getting the weights and I thought, why? Um, I went over to the shop, our little work shed, and for a thousand dollars, I got wheel weights on the back. And are the wheel weights enough? Hmm. Not nearly enough. I'm still getting too much weight on the front, it looks like. Still a little bit too much weight in the front. Not as bad as it was, but for a thousand dollars, I'm like, well, I'm gonna pay that. I don't even know how much weights actually go for. I mean, they do vary quite a bit in the store, I assume. But the one reason why I do like the weights on the wheels, it just saves you the time of having to put weights on the, you know, taking the weight off and on, off and on. If they're on there all the time, like on the wheels, uh, that's great. Plus it also frees up your three point linkage. I'm just kind of curious, how much, what do weights actually go for is there is there a category for him? Yes, there is. Um, so I spent a thousand dollars on it. So I mean, yeah, I mean, this is going to be the same price as I would have probably paid anyways. Uh, that's one ton. I don't know how big of a. Do they go up to like three tons still? Yeah, the Fent three ton. I remember that one. Oh well, five. Uh, that's five thousand. I thought that was going to be five tons, but no, it's actually only one point seven tons. Um, but I think the wheel weights would be good enough for now. I wonder if I went with wide tires and weights. 
if it would be enough. Um, $1,000, new gift. Why is it showing me that? Is that showing me from the workshop when I... I don't know what that was about. That's probably the $1,000 from upgrading the tires with weights on the back. Uh, but as for this stone picker, or as they call it, really a, a, a beat picker, I think it's actually what it's called. A beat slash rock picker. Yeah, it's working really good. Uh, just don't get too rambunctious in the field going too fast. Uh, because then the tractor will bounce up and down and you will, you will miss stones here and there. I mean, I mean, if you keep it in the teen, in the low teens on miles an hour, uh, you should have no problem. Because my fields are rather bumpy out here. But this is, yeah, de definitely we're buying this. Um, this, is, this is definitely the way to go. I'll save money on having to buy the, the big one that I like. I mean, at first, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it because I'm like, okay, the working width isn't quite there as I want. Uh, I was like, am I going to get stuck in the ground quite a bit? Uh, am I going to have to get it just right? And it, it's got a good uh, tolerance of where, how far off the ground you can be with it. Just trying to find a, a happy setting for it. Once you get used to it, it's, it's not bad at all. But like I said, uh, just keep the speed reasonable. I mean, yeah, you could, I mean, I mean, I'll put, I'll put the throttle all the way down here. And you can still see, I'm still picking up rocks, but as the tractor bounces up and down. I'm going to miss a few here and there. Now, the one thing I did try uh, right off, I tried hiring a worker. This is standard worker, not course play. And it uh, it said no. So usually if you're in a field, if you hit H, yeah, it just uh, did nothing. Um, so it doesn't do field work. I haven't tried course play yet, but I assume the course play... I'm not sure how that's going to work out. I may try that uh, when we get to the cotton fields because I will. Have, I'll be, we'll be plowing the cotton fields, uh, plowing the cotton stocks back in, and maybe I'll try course play in those fields there to see what happens with this bucket. Uh, some of you may have already found out, but uh, I'll try it when I get that far. So yeah, the, the thing is, what I'm trying to find out is will the worker keep on picking up stones even though the bucket is full. That's what I want to find out. Because that is the current issue when you try to hire a worker with a stone picker. Um, it will pick up the stones, but once the capacity is full, the worker just keeps on going picking up stones, uh, but you're not gathering nothing. So we are just about done here. Uh, it will cost me well... The wide tires with weights would have been 3,000 when I was uh, upgrading this. I think it's still going to be 3,000 even though I already got the weights. That, that's kind of interesting to find out. Is this still going to be... Well, yeah, we'll, we'll check it out in a second. Still see if it's 3,000. Since I technically kind of own weights, but are the weights set for this size tire? I'll see if it's still 3,000. But it is better than what it was. I was bouncing around quite a bit on the front ends. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Yeah, so even if I, before the weight, yeah, it's kind of doing it there a little bit. Um, yeah, I was really just on the front tires. I am a little bit on the back tires now, not as bad. But then again, I only got uh, two thirds of a load in here. And I do like it now that I'm actually dumping it in here. I'm actually feeding the lime crusher. So how many uh, stones we end up getting here off those three fields so far? So far, but I mean, yeah, we are... Nope, wrong. There we go. Uh, 6,806. It's not too bad. Uh, am I done picking up stones? I think so. It doesn't matter because I'm going to buy this anyway. So let me go ahead and do it now before I forget. Let's go in here to leasing. And return that. Alright, so that is back in place at the store, hopefully. Now if I were to... Yep, 
Yeah, so it's still $3,000 for wide tires and weight, so I'll hold off on to that. Um, it's not bad for what we got going so far, so uh, I can deal with that for sure. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do... Oh, there's rain in the forecast. Uh, let me go ahead and park you. Right here, because I'll be taking those tomatoes later on. And the reason why I want to do the tomatoes later on is because I don't think I'm going to have enough seed... For the three fields here. I do got some seed here and some fertilizer. And yep, we're going to use the 1000 because it should give us less wear and tear on a tractor. Because now we got we got the juice. We got the horsepower to pull this the way it should. I have no idea what I got in here for seed and fertilizer. Hopefully quite a bit. go all right it's not too bad uh no we don't want to plant sorghum uh we want to plant and i went right by it not oats uh yep keep going uh i think we're gonna go is that wheat or barley i forgot now i those symbols yeah that's wheat what the heck was I looking at just now? I don't know. Um, yeah, we're going to go with wheat. I said wheat. We're, let's go with wheat. And hopefully, I can get that seed in here. Is that close enough? I think it's close enough. And I'm filling up with fertilizer. And I fill up with fertilizer. No. All right, little super strength there to move that over. All right, now we take the seed. Thank you. Oh wow, more seed in there than I thought there was. Careful of the cotton. Mind the cotton. Let's lower that down here. And first time seeding with a Fent Vario 1000. Yeah, this is pulling it along really, really good. Not going to take me that long. Hopefully I got all the stones. If not, there's not. I'm just going to leave them there. It's not too many. did not know it was going to be rain in the forecast. Well, when I woke up this morning, it was raining. And then the rain came to an abrupt halt. I'm like, oh good, it stopped raining. But now there's rain in the forecast again. Now, with these fields here, I'm going to have to fertilize them because we did not get any chopped straw fertilization from it this time. And really, next season, I plan on putting straw down and start getting some straw bales going. Our cattle are going to need some straw for feed and for bedding. So getting the fertilizer spreader. I don't know if I'm going to buy it today or am I just going to lease it and wait until next year. Remember, I got to keep some cash in the bank account because we got a big expenditure coming up. Leasing the case cotton module harvester. I'm going to guess that's going to cost me $30,000 to lease in total. Twenty-five dollars originally, and then probably some extra hour. Hopefully it's only one extra hour, but it could be two. And that will be kind of expensive. I think we'll be, I think it's going to be alright. I think we're going to get enough cotton, I hope. And hopefully next season when it comes time to sell the clothes, I am hoping for at least a couple hundred grand from the clothing. I may have enough seed to finish off these three fields. Not too sure if I will or not, but if not, I'm going on down towards the store anyways to sell the tomatoes and I can pick up a couple bags as needed. I did remember that when I was seeding the second field, 
I was not done picking up rocks. I kind of forgot about the grass field I need to plant over where the cow barn is going to be. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that field. But it's not that big of a deal. I'm going to go ahead and buy that uh, that bucket anyways. For 1200 bucks, you cannot go wrong. And the way that works out, not too bad. I think what I'm going to do, though, is when I go over there, I'll bring the trailer over with me. And just park the trailer off to the side. That way, when I keep filling up the bucket, I can just dump the rocks into the trailer. And then what I'll do is I'll come back to the farm here, dump the rocks on the ground, pick them back up with the, the bucket, then put them right into the stone crusher. And we'll be good to go. But I do need to get the grass planted over there. So maybe when I go down, if I even if I have enough seed to finish off this field here, I'll buy some more bags of seed. And I'll think about planting. I, I should just plant the grass field, honestly. Uh, that way it can just start growing. And it'll be ready for next season for whenever I get over there. Now I am going to have to wait until these three fields grow and the wheat germinates before I can fertilize it again. I gotta wait for the crop to grow before I can put the second stage of fertilization down. So I'm hoping that will be tomorrow. Because if I lease the fertilizer spreader for the grass field, which I need to do today before I cut the grass, the grass is ready to be cut. Um, I wanna fertilize the grass before we cut it. And that means I would have to keep the fertilizer spreader for another day. But I think the extra day is only like $250 on the spreader. So to me, that would be worth keeping it overnight and getting the field done. But I am kind of leaning towards just buying the spreader anyways. Because then I'm going to do it again for the cotton fields. And I'm thinking I may not plant the cotton fields until next spring. And I may put oats into it. That way we can get uh, more flour made and get the uh, bread pit back up and running. Bring some flour over to it. Unless the cotton does extremely well. But I am trying to mix it up, not do the same crop over and over and over again. And I'm also thinking next year might be the year. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be doing the cows next season. But I think also I'll be expanding and getting some more fields up and I'll start planting like canola and all those kind of crops over there so I can get some beehives up so the bees can start producing some honey. I think they'll produce honey either way, but I'm waiting for myself to put down the fields that the bees will help pollinate the sunflowers, canolas. I'm not going to go the potato route just yet. Although, um, potatoes, I, I may have mentioned this before, we may be doing potatoes eventually on this map. There is a mod, where did I see it? I saw it somewhere. Um, but someone created a mod for potato chips. So I may put that on down. So I think it requires uh, cooking oil. So either olive oil, I don't know what oil it requires. It's been a while since I saw the mod, actually, but it's been about a month. Uh, but I think it requires one of the cooking oil, well, I say cooking oils, one of the oils, either sunflower or whatever. And, of course, potatoes, and, of course, you get potato chips out of it. But that is stuff for years down the line here in no man's land. But the more fields we put down... The more money we'll bring in. Is this the initial cost of putting down all the production buildings? So on and so forth. hundred and thirty one liters left of wheat. I think I can get this field done with what we have. But getting this tractor right here, this is definitely going to help out the farm quite a bit. Because uh, we, can, we can upgrade the equipment that we currently have. Um, one of those could be the plow. So right now i got a 4 meter wide plow. And I showed you the 8 meter wide plow that I would be interested in. And beforehand, I, you know, even if I had the money, I wouldn't be able to use it. Because that plow requires like 400 and some odd horsepower. And now we got it. And this is our wheat fields. I don't want to say done. i got to fertilize it one more time. 
I'm not going to bother fixing the drill because I am going to go ahead and try to get that grass field done this year. But as we slowly progress in this series, it's going to be, uh, we've been zipping through the years, I think, I don't want to say quickly, but uh, the more stuff we get down here in the farm and the more projects we got to do, uh, the more chores and jobs we got to do, the years are going to go by slower and slower because I got to get more stuff done uh, per month. And also, like I said, we also might go ahead and put it down to two days per a month. But really, I think one day a month is still fine because I can always run at one time to speed. You can get a lot done in real time, if you will. Let's go ahead and we'll just drop this off here for now. Farm's going to get this a little bit crowded around here. But like I said, we got a lot of work to do today. I did not hook that up. Oh, I'm close enough? All right, good. Let's uh, undo the straps here. And yep, I'm gonna be doing the auto load thing. Just don't feel like doing it with a front loader today. I might change up the crops here soon as well. I may go back to lettuce. Eventually we'll be doing strawberries for the bakery once we get all the stuff we need to make cakes. Alright, let's strap those in. I need to see where I'm going with the tomatoes. Uh, tomatoes 443, 460. Uh, Lord of the Wings is getting the tomatoes. Alright, we'll go down and sell them there. Uh, 7,500 liters, so maybe three grand worth of tomatoes, which will pay for our bucket, because I'm going to buy that bucket. All right, let's sell these tomatoes and then spend some money, and I think, since I'm buying the bucket, we're going to go ahead and buy the fertilizer spreader at the same time. Um, I've been leasing that quite a bit and just haven't gotten lucky getting it in the used department. Uh, I think I've come to the point now is just like, yeah, let's go ahead and buy it. The one thing I was thinking before I started recording when I was walking around the farm, it wasn't that long ago when I put that shed up, I'm like, boy, that's going to clear up a lot of space. Uh, $3,455 for those tomatoes. But, yeah, then looking at them, I'm like, yeah, that shed's going to clear up a lot of space on the farm, which it did. And now when you look at the farm and I'm buying more stuff again, it's like uh, I'm starting to get a little more crowded in the big shed again. It is kind of nice seeing those cars parked over there. Again, that will be in the alien gym. No man, I, th I think he's going to call it the no man lands placeable pack again. Not too sure. So we need to buy a couple of things. Let's not park too close. Uh, let's go, where was that? Uh, front loader tools on down here. And what, what color should I go, orange or orange? Um, let's go orange. <laughs> so 1200 bucks. Uh, I could have waited another day and maybe it would have came up in the, in the use. But I mean, I'm not going to save that much money. Um, I mean, it w could be 600 bucks, but... Anyways, let's go up to fertilizer spreaders. Uh, we're going to buy this one right here. Uh, no options whatsoever on it. Uh, but let's go ahead. 25000 Yep. Still leaving me 57000 So, yeah, I can't spend any more money now for until we get done with the cotton module harvest. Because uh, that's going to be rather expensive. Let's hook this back up. And then raise this on up here. So I can go ahead and put the fertilizer spreader on. Careful of the mowers that are on demo. You may have, you may have saw them in the lease department. That's how I'm doing it. Uh, let's go ahead...
and attach the hoses. And then lift that on up. All right. Uh, I don't need any diesel. We're good on that. Oh, I was going to buy. Hang on a second. We're not done yet. I do need to buy. Uh, come up here. Bags. Seed. And... I'll just buy four of them. For 2400 Now, if I'm not mistaken, this autoloader, I think, will pick these on up as well. But I may have to change... Uh, where... No, nope, I'm, uh, I'm not in the right tool. There we go. I think I'm in the right tool. Uh, Z is the key I gotta press. Euro pallet, liquid tank, big bag pallets. They're not pallets, but they are big bags. Is that what we're looking for? No. Brown cotton bale, overload, Euro pallet, liquid tank. Uh, let me try... Maybe I gotta get out of the zone. Does it not take these? Maybe it doesn't take them. I thought it took those. Oh well. What well, is actually a big bag pallet? I'm kind of confused what that... I mean, that's big bag. Oh, big bag pallets. Oh, okay. So there's big bag and big bag pallets. Alright, uh... No problem. Now, even though we got the Fenton 1000, still be using the T6 quite often, as you can see. And we're using it quite well right here with everything that we got on here. Now we got some more equipment here for the farm. We got a bucket and a fertilizer spreader. Go ahead and turn that off right there. Got to do some clearing up around here. But next episode, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fertilize the grass field, um... And then I'll bring you guys and probably start off the episode by cutting the grass with the class mowers. Uh, the butterfly mower does require 160 horsepower. I don't know when you're at when you're using two uh, pieces of equipment at the same time. I don't think you have to add the horsepower up to both. So what I'm trying to say here, if we go into where the mowers are, eh, mowers, yep. So the butterfly mower re requires 160, but it's also got to run this one. That requires 70, so I don't know if it's going to add them both up. Because that would be 230 horsepower that it would require to, to run both if it adds them both up. Or is it just does your engine just have to have at least 70 and it can run both? We're going we're gonna to find out. Um, that's why we're going to get it uh, on demo. And if it works out well, we'll be getting those that set there. We're paying it. Like I said, probably next season because it is going to be like, uh, so we'll just round it off, $70,000 for the set. So that'll be good here on the farm. I'll just get the job done a little bit quicker. For sure, rather than just using one mower, getting the butterfly mower. And uh, with those mowers there, I can put into a swath. So even though I got uh, three mowers, if you will, it's going to put it down to one nice little swath for me. And we can still use a loading wagon. Uh, but the other thing I would like to do, as, as you can see, like I said, upgrading some of our, of our equipment around here. Getting a bigger trailer will come in handy. Uh, especially when I go to sell silage. So I may even do that next episode. Uh, when I, Because I got to sell the silage. I may sell the silage before the episode. I'm not too sure. Uh, it's just me going down there quite a bit. Like 15, 16 trips uh, to sell the silage. Currently, what is the silage? I didn't check to see what the silage is selling for today. Because I do got to sell it in order to put the grass back in there. Silage. 160 and going up. I mean, as long... Okay, so out, it's out of the 150s, which is fine. Um, but that will bring in about 20 grand. So maybe... Maybe I'll buy a bigger trailer. And say goodbye to this this thing that has done us so well with all the logs in the beginning of... Of, uh, you know, feeding the chickens and doing what we need to do. Uh, because it will come in handy next year if we plant oats everywhere in those fields there and transfer transferring all that oats over to uh, milling it over, which is our flour producer. Come in very handy. But uh, not too bad here today. I, I do love that rock picker in the bucket. Uh, thanks again to Roger, I do believe it is. <laughs> I remembered 
uh, your name correctly. Uh, but yeah, Roger pointed that out. I do check the mod hub every day before I start uh, playing Farming Simulator, but I may have overlooked that because uh, it does say like uh, beat. Uh, what does it say now? Uh, front loaders here. I would have saw a beat basket. I would have just, I probably would have skipped right over where it said stone picker as well. Um, but that definitely, definitely is a time saver. But anyways, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in No Man's Land. But until then, have a good one.